I am honored to accept the IPC Raymond E. Pritchard Hall of Fame Award. When John Mitchell called to inform me that I was to receive this award, I was speechless. I know those of you who know me from committee meetings are amazed by this miracle because I am not shy about expressing my opinion. I first heard about IPC standards when I worked at Unisys and accepted a new job moving from placing and routing ASICs to the then new tools to place and route boards. I was going to be group lead and verification person. One ASIC engineer advised me not to take the job in 1988 because, and I quote, printed circuit boards is a dying field, end quote. On my first day of the new job, the lead I was replacing gave me some rolls of paper, colored paper tape, an X-Acto knife, and a couple of band-aids. He had a circuit drawn on a napkin and told me to build this circuit to meet the requirements of this document. As I headed to lunch, I took the paper, the napkin, the document, the X-Acto knife, the color rolls of paper tapes, I didn't have any band-aids left, and placed them on his desk. I might have just thrown them on his desk. I informed him I was not hired to do this task. I was hired to verify boards using computers. He responded that the men I would be working with used paper tapes to lay out boards for many years. Computers are foreign to them. Remember that as you are changing their environment. If we were not meeting virtually, I'd ask for a raise of hands on who remembers paper tape, 100 mil boards, 100 mil pitch <laughs> through whole parts. Meeting IPC standards was easy in those days. I also learned a lesson that has supported me throughout my career. Before changing a process or a rule, put yourself in the place of those whose jobs will change. Although change is neither good nor bad, for many people, handling change is difficult. For those of you who do not know me, I am passionate about data. In 2014, I presented a paper at the IPC for Designers Forum, and a colleague who was attending said to me, I was at the conference in the early 90s when you presented a paper on the correct handling of data when using ex external routers. I am glad you still care about data integrity because everyone seems to take it for granted. I mention this because my first committee involvement with IPC was during the ODB++ GenCam Data Wars of the 1990s. IPC sponsored the peace talks that led to the creation of the IPC 2581. I started working closely with Dieter Bergman as the chair of the 210 and 216 committees. Whenever Dieter wanted to visit his home in New Jersey, we would meet for four or five days of intense documentation and schema development in a Lockheed Martin conference room. Because of my work with on the IPC 2581, I was started attending IPC Expo and IPC Apex. At that time, Apex and Expo were separate shows on adjacent weeks. Lockheed Martin had an active IPC working group 
and the committee meetings were divided up among those who attended the shows. The meeting schedule was always tight, and usually during the week there were a few no one could attend. I was sent to those meetings with a list of instruction. Don't let them pass the, this item without a Lockheed Martin negative vote. Try and get this sentence worded this way. And when in doubt, follow the, what the representatives from other aerospace companies suggest. In those days, my Bible was the IPC T-50. I learned about black pads, why voids should be avoided, and various assembly and fabrication processes, and the problems that might occur. My suggestion to those of you who are new, take this opportunity to learn something new. Ask questions. Sometimes when the committee members are explaining things, they improve the document they are working on. I am fortunate that my current company, Northrop Grumman, has encouraged and supported my involvement with IPC, recognizing that our active participation benefits all, especially as we pioneer new technologies and embrace enterprise-wide data. Those of us who attend IPC Apex Expo usually try to get together during the conference. It is a great time to catch up on what is happening in the various sectors. I enjoy meeting and talking with the Northrop Grumman attendees from the different locations. I hope we can get together for dinner in 2022. Northrop Grumman allowed me to be part of the IPC Emerging Engineer Program as a mentor, even though my first mentee was from Lockheed Martin. It is a great opportunity to see IPC through new eyes. Thank you, Kevin Kusick and Christina Landon for allowing me to work with you in this great program to introduce IPC and the industry to emerging engineers. I am going to close with one piece of advice to all attendees. At lunch, look for a table with an empty chair or two and people you do not know. Lunchtime discussions are a great place to increase your knowledge of the industry and make new acquaintances. I once sat with the representatives from Japan. Most of the conversation was in Japanese, but two people at the table spent time paraphrasing the discussion. I was even able to interject a sentence or two. Remember that ASIC engineer I mentioned earlier? He was incorrect. Here I am, 33 years later, a member of a vi very vibrant industry that designs, fabricates, and assembles printed board assemblies, part of a collective group of diverse individuals that comes together to share and document best practices and requirements that will guide this industry into the future with the leadership of John Mitchell. After all, he can perform miracles. Once again, thank you for the IPC Raymond E. Pritchard Hall of Fame Award.